We live in a culture that's currently fairly obsessed with apocalyptic literature and movies and stories. The popularity of things like The Hunger Games, Divergent, suggests that this is a relevant topic that people are fascinated by. There's also ancient forms of apocalyptic in books like Revelation in the New Testament and Daniel in the Old Testament. And then between the Old Testament and the New Testament, there's a whole body of apocalyptic literature that grows up. One of the main differences, I think, between New Testament apocalyptic and then the current things that we see in our culture is that in our culture, the focus is very much on the violence related to apocalyptic, the end of the world is coming. Ancient apocalyptic has some of that. I mean, it's very realistic that battles may come, but that's not really the focus. The focus is always on what comes after that. The focus is on the hope. My main interest in the New Testament is actually in Paul's letters. I often say, Paul's my guy. Paul lives in this ancient apocalyptic mindset and it's shaping his thinking as he writes letters to early Christian churches. Paul also is realistic about the struggles of this current age. In the book of Romans, for example, there's conflict on personal levels. There's also communal conflicts in Romans, like at the very end of the book in chapter 14, he talks about these Jewish Christians and these Gentile Christians, but when they get together, they can't seem to welcome one another. Paul also even sees this conflict on a very cosmic level. He talks about the creation that groans and struggles. In spite of all this though, Paul has this very real sense, like ancient apocalyptic authors did, that there's something beyond this. And what his claim is, is that in Christ, uh, we are already a part of the future. In Paul's mind, Christ has already brought about reconciliation and peace, and thus we are people who live without that hope. So that's what he calls his readers to do. I find that really relevant in our day. We live in a culture that is so obsessed with apocalyptic and is so recognizing that the world is not as it should be, that there are lots of issues. Sometimes the only thing we can envision is a destruction. Paul, in his letters, addresses this concern, this really relevant concern, but he does so with an eye toward what God has done through Christ. And in pointing us to Christ, it gives us this emphasis on ways in which we are called to live in peace and reconciliation, and that's hope because Christ has reconciled us to God, and now we are to be a part of reconciling others as well. And that's what this ancient apocalyptic brings to Paul's letters and then to us today as we read it.